Okay, welcome back. This video is on how to tie a clove hitch. And we're going to do this on a continuous string. So when you're attaching items to a string, you can have a continuous string where it goes sunwise around the object you're tying and never changes directions. It's going to go sunwise to make a clove hitch and go to the next item and go sunwise again. And you're going to see how that works. Um, so it's important as we're doing this, your first item that you're putting on, we're using crayons here in our demonstration, and our hemp thread here, it, we've marked an area here in purple, and that's just so you guys can see things a little bit better. Okay, so our first crayon, it's very important that the, we're attaching crayons to the string today, so it's very important that your first item, all of your items, will go in front of the string. Okay, so they go in front of the string like this, the string runs behind, and now over here on this side, you're going to make a loop so that it, it drops down in front of you. So this, this vertical string is going to be closer to you than the horizontal one. Hopefully that's easy to see with the purple, which one is on top. And then this just loops right over the top, and you pull it tight. Now, as you do this, you'll notice it rolls and it shifts. This first one will do that. That's okay. We actually want it to. But we're going to keep things standard. And our second, our second loop is going to go the same direction. It's going to loop so it goes vertically over our horizontal string. So the vertical one is in front, closest to you, and it goes over the top again. Now this time when you pull it tight, you'll notice that we've actually made a clove hitch on here. And in a clove hitch, the string comes in, it goes underneath itself, it goes all the way around, it uh, and it comes back out underneath itself again. So the more you pull on these, the tighter it'll actually tighten and the better it'll grab itself. Now don't pull so hard you break your string, but that's one of the beautiful things about the clove hitch. So our first one is on here. It looks pretty. We're just going to go ahead and put the second one on here. You just lay it right there next to it. And as you go, we're doing those same loops, but it's done. You can see the clove hitch is made. As you continue on with these, you'll notice that they will all tend to stay roughly the same side up. So you'll end up with a nice, pretty-looking string. Um, and when you're when you're tying something like cloth or something with a little more uh, abrasion than crayons here, they'll uh, it'll stay together a little bit better. So um, again, we're we're making our first loop. Our our string goes behind things. When you grab the loop, I twist, notice I twist my hand over and I grab it kind of backwards with my thumb behind the string to loop it in front and over the top. Whoop. Except you got to be little, make sure it doesn't come off. So pull it over the top, pull it taut, and I do the same thing again. And if I pin it in place, Pull it taut. This is some. This is a little easier to do with something that's a little wider at the top, and then maybe flares out at the bottom, where you can have a nice neck or something in the middle. This is our demonstration for tying, though. And one more time, so that as you go, you can just tie those loops, and you can do one after the other pretty quickly. So I'm out of other objects, so we'll just continue on, and that way you can put a, a clove hitch in the middle of your string. And your chain will just continue on, and you'll get a nice, uh, nice even tying. Now, notice uh, when I'm putting these on there, it looks like they're pretty close together. So I can put it right here next to it. And when I tie this, things are going to shift just a little bit as I pull them tight and everything. And notice I end up with about an inch in between the two. Okay, so uh, go a little bit closer. There's roughly an inch if that's how you like to measure. Um, there is a, sorry, go a little bit closer than you think you need to, and they'll usually turn out just right. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for learning how to close. Oh, I guess the other thing I wanted to point out is you'll notice from the top view, this string comes in, it loops around our object, and then it comes over itself, and then it goes under itself, and it comes out. And so the clove hitch, you'll notice the direction of the string is always moving sunwise to make that loop. And then here it goes sunwise again to make the clove hitch and comes out and it will go on to the next object. All right, thanks.